Good morning, tool fans. Today we're going to talk about Buchanan crimps and removing them. One of the downfalls of the Buchanan crimp is that they can be a burger to remove, and you can actually remove them without having to just cut off the wire, thus shortening your wire lengths. I know that's one of the concerns that a lot of clients have. Some of our uh, some of our people have that same concern also. But if we pinch it in a certain way, we can actually remove that copper splice. So we've got wires in a Buchanan uh, crimp. We got our wrap cap on there. We're going to take this, take our wrap cap off. That exposes our Buchanan crimp. So now when we do that, it leaves four high spots independent or, uh, you know, varying from the actual uh, low spots from the crimp. So if we pinch those high spots, we can actually get the crimp to open up and we can pull the wires back out. Um, if you have your Buchanan really full, is this going to work? Maybe not, but on a typical crimp, uh, it works pretty good. So if we take a pair of pliers, I'm using channel locks here. So if we take that, I'm going to hold it so the high spot and the high spot. We'll put that between my jaws, give it a pinch, do it to at 90 degrees, give it another pinch, and that's released a lot of our crimp there. And then I can start pulling my wires out. And so once we get one or two out, then all of them come out. And thus, we can do what we got to do, change wires around, make the right connections, and then put a new Buchanan on these same wires, and we didn't make them any shorter. So we just wanted to present that out there that you can recrimp a Buchanan, as in you can remove the crimp and put a fresh Buchanan on it uh, without having to trim your wire lengths. So thanks. Have a good day. Have a safe day.